I got the B Station Plus series by Synology. This is an 8 terabyte hard drive that you can make your own personal cloud storage subscription free to back up your photos and videos from your phones. Whether you have an Android phone or an iPhone and it could be a Samsung Android, it could be a OnePlus Android. Let's go over some of the settings and then I'll actually go show you guys a demo with the phones and stuff and kind of how it works. And I have, you know, both Android and iPhone just so we have um, some comparisons. Now, when you unbox this thing, vents on the bottom, we got an LED in the front. And for the back, we have the power button, factory reset, USB 3.0, USB-C, a gigabit ethernet port, so you could share this on your network, and its own power port. And the power adapter is 100 to 240 volts, and it's 36 watts of power. Cat 5 e ethernet cable, followed by a quick start guide. Comes very well packaged and everything, just like you would expect from Synology. You know, power, you plug it into ethernet, which is a gigabit port, power it on, wait a couple of minutes, light turns a solid orange, and you go to portal.b.synology.com. Now, if you have a Synology account, which I already do because I've been using Synology devices for over 10 years now, actually. I think my first one was the DS214 Play, which came out in 2014. Essentially, when you log in, um, it finds your device, and essentially, this is what you see uh, once you log in. If you, don't, uh, if you don't have a login, they'll just ask you to create it. So now you can look at your B files. You can also look at your B photos. Now, I already set up photos on my OnePlus and my iPhone and I took some pictures and those pictures are here. Before we get into that, let me just quickly go over some of the options. And um, yeah, so even though this is the eight terabyte drive, this is the Plus series, they also have a regular B station, which is the four terabyte version, which would also show up less than four. Um, this shows up at 6.98, so just under seven terabytes. Now you might be wondering, well, why is it eight, but you get seven? Um, well, the reason is the way the hard drives kind of work is um, they kind of measure it like using a metric style way of measuring it, uh, where they say like a thousand bytes is one kilobyte, or and a thousand kilobytes is one megabyte, and a thousand megabytes is one gigabyte, and a thousand gigabytes is one terabyte. But in the computer world, it's not actually true. That's not how it works because it's in binary. Computers only understand zeros and ones. And um, basically they work in powers of two. So really 1,024 bytes is actually one kilobyte and 1,024 kilobytes is actually one megabyte and then 1,024 megabytes. Anyways, on and on and on. So essentially because they're counting it that way, when you put it on the computer it actually shows up as less because the computer is only understanding 1024 bytes is one kilobyte. So this has nothing to do with Synology specifically. It's like this if you get a Western Digital Drive, if you get a Samsung SSD drive, if you get um, a flash drive, that's just how it they're advertised. But when you connect it to a computer, that's just how it is. That's, that's how it's set up. So I almost want to say it's kind of like a bag of chips where you see like a bag of chips this big and then you open it up, you're like, what? Um, kind of like that, but not that bad. Um, so this has, again, nothing to do with Synology. Um, that's just how every hard drive is. Okay, so uh, that's that. Users, so I have myself. I can also invite users and I can even give them their own private space if I wanted to. System just gives you some info. The important thing is the host name, which you could change because this is how you would access this other than its IP address. And data protection. Now, earlier I said subscription free and it is subscription free, assuming you back up you know, your stuff onto this or from your computer onto this. Now, if you want to back up this, on the Synology server, that will require a separate subscription, which is completely optional. That's not necessary. But if you want additional protection, you could set up that way. And if you're new to this, uh, as of now, it looks like it's three months free. And then after that, if we click, click on learn more, this is by B-Protect, by Synology. Um, the four terabyte version, which would be under four terabytes, so it would be three something. I'd be 60 bucks, and then the B Station Plus is the 8 terabyte version, which is this one, which was really, you know, just about 7 terabytes, which would be 120 a year if you pay annually, and then these are the monthly costs as of now. Now, comparing this to Apple's iCloud, this is actually a lot cheaper if I wanted to back up what's on this, which is nice. Um, but again, this is completely optional, and I really like the fact that 
Synology allows you to back it up for free to another Synology NAS um, without paying a subscription, which is really nice. So I like that. And if you guys are wondering why does it say NAN here? Well, NAN in programming terms stands for not a number. Um, so just it, it was trying to display something that wasn't a number, so it just wrote NAN, so it wouldn't error out. Um, anyways, so that's a little bit of a glitch there. It shouldn't show NAN, it should actually show numbers here. And it looks like it did show zero here, but not for the rest. Um, so I'm assuming that will get fixed in the update. Okay, so data recovery, if you want to recover it, update is on auto. Um, you can also do manual updates and stuff. And then advanced settings, if you go to local access, if you have a Mac, which I'm using the Mac right now, uh, you want to enable SMB service if you want to access this uh, drive from the Mac. Uh, on a Windows computer, it doesn't need SMB, so you can actually just use it. Um, well, I mean, you could use it with that as well, but um, usually with a Mac, you use SMB. With the, with the Windows, it's not necessarily, uh, you don't necessarily need to use SMB. Um, but yeah, I basically enabled this, which was not enabled by default, and I can actually access this. So if I go to Finder, um, I already have it here, but basically if I open up Finder, I just go to Go, and I do Connect to Server, and then I would type in SMB colon with the forward slash forward slash B station, and I would click Connect, and then it would ask me. And because I already set it on Home, um, it just shows up here and then I have access to the files and stuff and then I could like I have 8.25 gigs here uh, where's the copy so I can actually copy it over so you guys get an idea of how fast it is again it is a gigabit connection so it's going to take about a minute for 8 gigabytes to transfer over uh, it's a gigabit connection not a gigabyte connection so one byte is equal to 8 bits uh, just, just as a heads up when they denote an uppercase B typically stands for byte, uh, and a lowercase B typically stands for bit. And again, uh, 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. Um, okay, so it's transferring it over, and um, let's go back to this, and, and I'll show you guys um, integration. You can also st set up Plex Media Server, so if you want to organize your you know, videos, movies, and stuff like that, music and stuff in a nice place, you could set up Plex. So it's nice, It's really nice that they offer that. Okay, so that's pretty much the settings in a nutshell. It's showing me two out of three because I didn't set up data protection, uh, which I'll do later. Um, not in the video, but I'll just set it up later. So here's some examples of pictures that I took yesterday, technically. Um, I took a video. I took it on my OnePlus and it automatically uploaded. And I didn't need to be home for it to do that. So as long as this thing was connected to the internet, which it was hooked up to Ethernet, and my phone was had internet, which it did, um, I took pictures and videos and it just uploaded it. And my computer doesn't need to be on. As long as this thing's on, because this thing connects to my network directly via Ethernet. I, it doesn't need to connect to my computer um, directly. And then I just took some earlier pictures, but I'll, I'll take some more pictures um, just to demonstrate it. So I'll take a picture of my keyboard, and um, I'll take a picture of the Pellegrino, because I like Pellegrino. And uh, yeah, so I literally just took a picture, and um, it's going to upload it. And um, it already uploaded the keyboard. And um, there it is. So you guys could see that was actually very fast. It uploaded it. And then the cool thing is because I also have that on the iPhone. So I can see it on the iPhone as well now, which is really nice. If I wanted to share this with someone, I could literally click on this and click share and then send the link to someone. I can make it require a password. I can make it expire. Um, so they don't need access to my device. I could literally just send like a, like, Hey, check this out or a combination of, uh, files. And then, you know, people could see it, which is really, really nice that all of this stuff is subscription free. Um, and then with the B files, so if I, I transfer files, um, 
to the drive and they're here now and I can press play and it'll actually play so and these files so on the apps I have B photos which is what I what I had open where you know you have albums you could do sharing you could do more and choose your you know backup options and everything like that um, so there's some options here you can even set up a, pa a passcode if you want and then you can also set up B files and um, B files so the f the files that I put on there I can actually check it out from here as well so that's actually like really awesome that I could do that um, and essentially in a nutshell Synology with this B Station Plus series and the regular B Station the smaller size if you don't want to pay a subscription fee, which again, that's completely optional if you don't want this backed up on the Synology, this, this can potentially save a lot of money. If you're already paying for some subs, sub, subscription fees to back up some, some of your files and photos and you know videos and stuff, this allows you to save money by paying a one-time upfront cost and then all this stuff backs up here. And again, even if you want to back this stuff up, it's actually cheaper than uh, as of now uh, compared to like an Apple iCloud account for instance so and it's very easy to set up and I love the fact that it's very well integrated again both on Android and on iPhone and it obviously would work on my Samsung phone as well which is an Android phone it could work with some of the tablets as well I could back up stuff from the computer so Synology did a great job of just making a very simplified um, compared to some of their uh, uh, not that the other Synology NASs are uh, very complicated but they can do a lot more but obviously they also cost a lot more as well uh, granted they there there's a lot of cool stuff with regular Synology NASAs that I really really like um, but this one I see it more of a purpose-built kind of I genuinely really like that I can back up photos and videos onto this and that actually allows me to get rid of one or two of my subscriptions and I, instead of paying that, I can actually save money, get this, which I already have it, and then just get the Synology back up um, and just uh, still have it backed up and pay a lower price for more storage, essentially. Um, or the same price, I should say, but for much more storage. That's a more accurate way of putting it. But... If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. If you guys have questions or comments, uh, please leave in the comment sections below. And um, yeah, NASA's are pretty awesome. This thing's pretty awesome. And uh, it just makes life pretty simple. And um, I really like the fact that Synology, and Synology just has a history. Like I've been using their stuff for over 10 years now. And they, they've generally been really, really good really really good so I'm really happy with Synology just generally speaking so yeah there it is if you guys enjoyed this video like the video share the video I appreciate all the support lots more videos coming up thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one